Hi guys, Michael from my Nokia blog here, bringing you another quick demo of some apps. These are still all the pre-installed apps. Um, so let's go for YouTube. YouTube is not actually an app as such. It's simply just a bookmark to the mobile version of YouTube. But let's just go up here and search. My Nokia blog. My stubby hands. And it looks like I'm failing something fierce trying to type, but it's actually quite hard trying to watch what I'm doing on the um, screen and try and film it accurately at the same time. So as you can, as you probably already know, there is no inbuilt native Flash player in the browser. So when trying to watch stuff like YouTube, as I'll show you in a second, it will just play in the phone's native video player. quite fast if you ask me um, again just swipe away a lot like video just keeps playing then again it is the video app so don't really expect anything more than that Skype You just simply go in, choose somebody you want to call. You just hit call, you'll call them. If you want, you can start a new message with like new chat. All that sort of stuff. Track and protect. Now a lot of people have been asking about track and protect and what it is. And I've already set this up actually. So I'm not going to go into it again, but get into this page, you set it up, and pretty much you just go to that website and you can find out where your phone is, you can lock your phone, you can do a remote wipe, all sorts of different functions. Some of them that actually cost, so just be aware when you're um, creating your account online. Now, something I didn't showcase in Skype is actually calling. Let me see if there's actually anybody online. Okay, so Scotty is online. So if I want to call him, it's as simple as that. You call them, and that's it. Like I said, there's no um, video calling, and it's very simple. Can't do a lot of stuff. You can't even um, share any files. It's just simply calling and um, text chat. But Angry Birds, I know a lot of people like Angry Birds. So let's get into it. The thing that I haven't been able to do yet is unlock anything using NFC. I have tried to pair the Nokia N9 with a BlackBerry 9900 equipped with NFC, but unfortunately we failed. So let me just go into a random level here. As you can see, failed again. But the game is pretty good. Very fluid scrolling, except when that accidentally happens, which actually is the first time I must admit. But yeah, it's Angry Birds. I don't really think you guys need to see a lot of Angry Birds. Um, something I will note though is there is only those twenty levels available. You just oh, no, I don't want that. You swipe gives you Angry Bird merchandise and again for contacting Angry Birds. Let's swipe away. Um may as well go on. Need for speed shift.
As you can see, I haven't actually played this game yet, so I don't know how it is compared to the Symbian version. As you can see, it's controlled by the accelerometer. This is hard. Tap on the screen. Sorry about this. Tap on the screen to break. Swipe away, and it's gone. Next, we have Chew F2. never actually played this on Symbian, so I don't know if it's going to be good or not. The graphics of Need for Speed looked alright. So far the graphics seem okay. Anyway, as you can see, we'll let him pass by and attack him from behind. I don't know what's going on here. Swipe away. Okay, it's not actually letting me swipe away. Okay. It's a bit annoying. There, they are. there you go. So the graphics look quite good. Um, just go into golf just for the sake of it. Again, I'm going to assume that the graphics are good. It does have 1 gig of RAM and 1 gig processor, so you shouldn't be getting too much lag at all, if any. So obviously, if you want, you go to the tutorial. I'm not looking at the tutorial, so I just want to get the video out there. See what it looks like. The graphics don't look too bad. Obviously, not expecting very high quality graphics because it is just a phone. But still. Maybe I should have checked out how this works. That's it at the moment for my reviews of all the pre-installed apps. Obviously, I'm not going to go to Vodafone. That's just the network one. Simple. 
not too much there but i will be starting my app review of apps that i have installed starting with firefox um also known as fennec so thank you for watching and if there's anything you want to see if there's any apps anything like that just drop us a comment and i'll hopefully get a chance to do it thanks for watching